All teams, give it everything you got. I'll show them the dark side. And that was a clip from Star Wars. The Force Awakens, the highly anticipated latest installment of the Star Wars franchise. And here with his highly anticipated review of the movie is Wall Street Journal's film critic, Joe Morgenstern. Hi, Joe. Hello, Tanya. Joe, it's probably safe to say few films were as eagerly anticipated as this one. So before we get to your review, tell us quickly what the screening you attended in L.A. was like. Well, you know, it was the world premiere. It was the first time that anyone outside the studio that made the film, Disney, had seen the film. It was an epic event, the sort of event that I try to avoid, like the plague, usually <laughs> because of all the delays. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm not a guy who likes to hang out with the stars. <laughs> and I don't see myself giving autographs on the red carpet. But there was no way to avoid this to begin with because of the deadline. If I was going to get the review and the paper and online when the embargo lifted last night. I had to go to the uh, premiere on Monday night. That said, it was a life adventure. It was a reminder. And I think a reminder that I really needed because you can sort of get locked into this process of churning out reviews. A reminder that people all over the world were really anticipating this film. And I must say, I was too. I... You, you know, we, we, we all remember where we were during tragic events in our nation's history, but we also remember where we were the first time we saw Star Wars. Absolutely. I am one of those people in that camp eagerly anticipating. So, Joe, does this J.J. Abrams-directed movie live up to the hype and the towering expectations of Star Wars fans, new and old. In a word, it does. Two, two words, it does. It really does. Disney and J.J. Abrams have pulled off a remarkable coup. First of all, in the casting, Daisy, Daisy Ridley and John Boyega, the two young new stars, are simply wonderful. It's shiveringly awful to think what the franchise might have become if they'd picked the wrong people because, you know, they Disney invested $4 billion in this thing. Yeah. But they're too smart for that. They picked they they chose wisely and they've got two young stars who'll bridge the generation gap in this film of that's, you know the the old folks are in the film right. too and they're wonderful <laughs> well that's what I, I love so much about what i saw in the trailer but where in the timeline does the force awakens pick pick up and how much can you tell us without giving too much away I won't tell you a thing other than to answer your direct question with a direct answer. 30 years after the, uh, the last, uh, the, 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 the 30, excuse me, 30 years after Return of the Jedi. Okay. All right. So that's good. Now, you mentioned the reappearances of some of our old favorites, Harrison yeah. Ford and Carrie Fisher. I have to confess, I was one of the Star Wars fans who literally shed a tear at the trailer, which showed Han Solo and Chewie we back together again. So is it is there that level of emotion when you're watching it as an old timer like me? As an older timer like me, the answer again is yes. I didn't expect it. I didn't expect to tear up and get a lump in my throat when those people appeared and also when they appeared with the younger stars. It's that wonderful juxtaposition of age, as I said in the review, age and shining youth that's so affecting. So wonderful, Joe. I am going this Sunday with my two young sons. I pre-bought my tickets weeks ago. I cannot wait. My only concern is you say in your review that this film certainly lives up to its PG-13 rating. Now, there are hordes of children clamoring to go. Should we as parents worry about that part of it? I think it's easy to explain without giving anything away. The, 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 the lightsaber fighting and other events are very intense. There's no ghastly gore. I mean, PG-13 is still for, for kids. Right. But I think the, the rating should be taken seriously because of the intensity. Okay, fantastic. 
Joe, are you, are there other things about the film that you'd like to talk about? I could talk about this movie for hours. I would love to tell you everything about it, but I was more scrupulous about spoilers in writing this review than I've ever been before. I've made my mistakes in the past and lived to regret them, but I knew that no one would forgive me if I gave away anything here. So yes. all I can tell you, as I said at the end of the review, is just go see it. You'll love it. Well, I, for one, am seeing it on Sunday and counting the hours. Thank you so much, Joe, for that. Thank you, Tanya.